Oh yeah, I you that's what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Look at the Stick! <laughs> Pulled out a stick. For the people who keep hitting the skip button who hasn't seen the cutscenes, or even for the people who have seen the cutscenes in the past. Stupid sticks. <laughs> even for the people who have seen them in the past. You might want to know that items and songs are being gotten during those cutscenes, so you're probably missing quite a few. Yeah, just in case you've never played the game before. <laughs> or if you don't this remember, or whatever. If you haven't played this game, play it. Immediately. Stop, stop. No, I mean stop, stop, stop! I'll stop believing. I'm glad that got him. <sighs> and... Fun fact about this bomb bag, even though if you've played this game, you probably know you have to stop him inside this tunnel, or else he doesn't give you the bomb bag upgrade. I think that's to prevent you from getting the bomb bag up early by using a bomb flower on him. But... Probably. Out of the Zelda games, I think I would um, recommend like a lot of the favorites and a lot of the ones that uh, don't like. Honestly, I would recommend pretty much any three Zelda games. On the uh, GameCube N64, I don't know much about the ones that are on like um the DS because I don't have a DS. I I never got into the DS one, so I can't particularly say anything about. I've them. heard they're not too great, though, but like. Well, I also heard that about Majora's Mask. What you don't like Spirit Tracks? Um, I don't even really know anything about Spirit Tracks except that people don't like it. Apparently, you're on a train. That's all I know. <laughs> Anyway, sounds like fun. <laughs> anyway, I recommend Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, uh, Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess. They're all very good. Although I'd say out of those, my favorite would have to be Majora's Mask. Uh, my second favorite to actually play would probably be Twilight Princess, uh, which is tied pretty close to Wind Waker. Not that I really hate this game, but out of all of them, it's the honestly the least exciting. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be a really long list for me, because there's a lot of Zelda games I would recommend. Tier 2D Zelda games. <laughs> Legend of Zelda. Why don't you just say your top 5? Top 5? <sighs> but I want to inform them about so many great games. Fine, go ahead. We're just climbing a mountain. <laughs> Alright. I try to do it by date, but I'm probably gonna mess up around the middle. Actually, probably really, really soon, but whatever. <laughs> uh, Legend of Zelda... Legend of Zelda... God, what was it called? It was the... It was the one where you... Uh, was that whale? Oh, the uh, Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening. <laughs> I have what? never played that game. Well, not never. I haven't played this game in... in years! It had to be... If I if I had to, to uh, if I had to recommend a version of it, yeah, she get DX because it has an extra dungeon in it. The one for the Game Boy Color, not the one for the. Oh, that one. one. Yeah, it actually had DX in the title. So. All right. Um. Um, the one for Super Nintendo, which also came out for the uh, Advanced, which I would recommend the one for the Super Nintendo if you have one, um, just because the. Oh, sorry, not. Did I say yeah. advance? No, you just said you just didn't say the title. Oh, um, link nice. to the past. Yeah. <laughs> you said the one for the Super Nintendo. I'm like, mm, that's not the title. Okay, this is how I get. But to it's the, the only one for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> I just kind of help walk. I just do some moonwalk up and down. Yeah, I keep going. Oh, God. Whatever. Um. <laughs> see, um, Oracle of Seasons and Ages. Which one do you like better? Uh, it's, literally, I found this out, whatever you played first, you like more. Really? I have never met a person who is like, well, what was the first one you played? The one I like most. I actually liked Ages better when I played Seasons first. I like Ages. I, I, did, I, did, I, I did play Seasons first. I don't even know why, but I played Seasons first. Which one was made first? They were both made at the same, same time. time. Yeah. They came out at the same time. They linked together. So. <laughs> Do they have some kind of chronological 
No, not okay. really. I mean, they, they sort of do if you do the link thing properly, but I sort of broke the link feature that in my Ages and Seasons game, I have the ending for both of them and all the like extra items like the big long sword. It's not really breaking it. Well, I mean, I only had... I didn't have a link cable. <laughs> oh. Then yes, you did. <laughs> Unless you, you... You can still use it without the link cable. Yeah. I did it by accident, yes, then. Because I, I have a game. I have actually Marquez. I well, never played it! <laughs> oh god, I almost forgot about the animal companions in that game. I love those guys. Animal puppies. Uh, I'm probably missing a few by memory, but um, most of the ones before the DS ones handheld. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> were pretty darn good. I would not advise um, Link's Adventure, which is the second one for the original Nintendo. Uh, I just had a horrible time with it. That's okay. Um, <laughs> I recommend um, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. I'm running out of time! <laughs> Master Quest, um... Sorry, I'm terrible with names. Okay. Wind Waker, Twilight Princess. God, that's mostly all of them. <laughs> what do you think about, like, Minish Cap? Minish Cap was actually pretty good. I like, I like Minish Cap, too. Uh, that was just it's one that stood out of my mind, is one that was actually pretty good that you didn't mention. Yeah, I, as I said, I probably, I probably missed quite a few of them. I can't think of any other ones, particularly, that you missed that I thought were really good. Oh! There were ones that I didn't recommend, but there was a reason for. Any Four Swords Adventure. I don't like them. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it either. Controlling four lengths, like, even doing it with other people is kind of annoying, but doing it by yourself just feels weird. Oh, this chick. <laughs> yeah. Great fairies. Eh, they're kind of weird. Creepy is what the word is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They have very jagged edges all over their body. Spin attack! <laughs> <laughs> um, since I've went out a huge list of Zelda games, I think I would probably just pull up my top five now. Um, at well, I'd probably have to do it from number five to number one to make this a, any type of good. So let me let me take a moment to actually think about it. <laughs> All right then. Also, we just got the spin attack. You can hold in the spin to make a blue ring around your sword, and then that'll do less damage if than if you hold it in and uh, make a red charge. But you can also do quick blue spins by rotating the joystick and then hitting B to attack. Which, you know, I just did there. Because I love them quick spins. Really do. 